what were you thinking? And is that really the choice you wanted to make? <laughs> Those were questions I heard once or twice growing up as a kid. We're going to talk about how it relates to you attaining what you need to in your professional life. This is the Think Your Reality podcast. Hang on. Here we go. Your destiny is by your design. Getting what you want in your professional life is gained by following a series of steps created by your mindset. Are you ready to start the journey? This is the Think hey, it's Your Michael Reality Sims, and podcast. This is podcast Here's number eight Mike of Sims. Think Your Reality. For those of you who have downloaded the previous seven, I'm grateful. I do appreciate you allowing me to spend some time with you. And it's critical for me to be a benefit to you. So I hope we can continue to do that. So a critical question at the top of the broadcast, and that was, what the hell are you thinking? A critical question and how you answer it tells a lot about you and the direction of your life. So do we need to change your direction a little or a lot? Both can be easily changed. Changing direction involves basically taking stock of where you are, where you want to go, and how to get there. Pretty simple, right? How to get there can take a whole lot of roads. The key is to figure out what you gained from the experience on the road you're on, how it relates to your dreams, and what adjustments you need to make. But keep something in mind. The joy is in the journey, not the destination. The joy is in the discovery of what you are made of and what obstacles taught you about your tenacity. Whether you are needing a slight adjustment toward reaching your goals or you on the, are on the wrong road altogether, both situations are easily addressed. Yes, I said easily addressed. One may take a little bit longer, but ultimately the same result is achieved. It always comes down to what you are thinking. Steps toward making that change. One thing I want to touch on is social media. I read something I found interesting and I wanted to share it with you. 100 million hours of video is viewed on Facebook daily around the world. Let me read it to you again. 100 million hours of video on Facebook is seen daily around the world. But of course, who doesn't love a cute kitty cat video? Look at it from this vantage point. 100 million hours equates to 4,166,000 days in time viewed. So if I were to pay you five cents an hour for that 100 million hours, for that time, you'd earn $1,369 a day. So my question, how much time are you spending looking at that stuff now? How much time a day? Don't have to tell me, but be honest with yourself. Reinvest that time into your goals and dreams, and that half a million dollars in your pocket is an inevitability. It's basically insured. Now, I'm not suggesting cutting ties with friends and family that are not geographically close to you. I have relatives that I, I Facebook message, etc., and I'm, and I'm grateful for it. But I believe it's, great, it's a great medium. It just isn't something that's worth taking a lot of your time from what's critically important to your life's desires. You have to watch the choices you make. It comes down to what you are thinking. When you defend the choices you make, to watch the video or not, you have to be prepared to defend the outcome. A video of someone else's life is not getting you steps closer to your life's goals. Time spent watching those videos, listening to someone complain about their life versus your time invested in reaching the next step on the way to your achievement. Look at those words, spent versus invested. When you spend money, the good or service is gained and the money is gone. When you invest, it's always believed and often comes to pass that you received something more of value. Another, another example, if I may. You invest in a home. Over time, that investment over time and history increases in value. You spend money on a car. It's always the car worth less than what you paid for it when it comes time to get another one. Think often when you're making a decision, am I investing or spending? It comes down to what you are thinking. Are you reading, listening to, or associating with people who have similar aspirations? Are you permitting the right things in your mind to influence you? 
Investing quality time in your goals is something that will take on a life of its own and will carry you far beyond your initial expectations. Watch the choices you make. My last question to you. What more can come of your ideas? Our ideas are like acorns. Listen to the analogy. It's going to make sense. An acorn can be held in the hand of a child, yet it contains the potential of 50 tons of oak. Let me read it to you again. Ideas are like acorns. An acorn can be held very easily in the hand of a child, yet it contains the potential of 50 tons of oak. Ideas are like acorns. Let me offer you one piece of proof. Orville and Wilbur Wright, the Wright brothers, bicycle mechanics by profession, one day woke up, had a dream, and said to themselves, we're going to build an airplane. The airplane industry now is worth an estimated $686 billion. Two bicycle mechanics decide one day to build an airplane. Look what came of their idea. The airplane industry, worth $686 billion. Their dream led to the need for aircraft manufacturing and the raw materials for each. Led to the need for mechanics, the need for pilots, flight crews, and those people who are responsible for losing your damn luggage. So what birth would your ideas give to the world? Who are you and what are you thinking about? Take that question very seriously. I need you to analyze it and make the decisions necessary for you to live your life the way you deserve to live your life. My name is Mike Sims. The name of the podcast is Think Your Reality. As I always say to you, have an awesome, awesome day as I believe you deserve nothing less.